Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Echoes of Etheria. I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion, and after battling against an army that was trying to take over the rebel hideout, we have to go and defeat the evil Alexei, or Alexei, who also happens to be... Oh, hello, there's something over here. Um, a trainee from the same academy that Lucian went to. Only he was a later generation who has more infused magic within him. So think of him maybe a little bit like Celeste or Kefka. Alright, from Final Fantasy VI. Now let's take on this guy to get this treasure. Um, I think I'll just try and kill some of these mages. Because the mages are definitely the ones that hurt the most. Ow. Ow. Alright, a little critical strike on this back. No, let's do it on this one here. Come on. How do I get to... There you go. And you do a fire strike on the captain, or the general. And we should be able to finish off the first line before they get too much action in. Now let's try and stop this guy. And he is pacified, which is perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And she's dead. Bam. Okay. So I could probably backslash. But that would cost two. I think I'd rather kill the captain first. Can I kill him? I don't know. Yes! Perfect! And that means that our next attack will just be a regular attack, really. Ooh, I should probably st stop this lady over here. Um, I don't feel like using this thing because that will practically kill me. But then again, it would also kill everyone. Let's just try and see if we can just kill her with a regular shot. Ooh, maybe not. There you go. That'll end it. Perfect. Now let's see what's in that treasure. Ooh, level up. Nice. What do we get? Blood Link. Uh, Link loads Soa's life force with one ally. This splits all incoming damage in half. Shared between Soa and the target ally. Sweet. Inkidu Hill Key. Okay, is something locked somewhere? Can I go back? Well, first, let's heal up. Okay, why would I get this key? Let's see here. Where are the special key items? Uh, you are not able to open all Master Locked and Enkidu Hill. Can we go back then? Man, I can't believe uh, Alexa is waiting for us while we're doing this. Oh, what does she have to say? Hey, hey, let me through. Okay, fine, don't let me through. It doesn't matter. I don't even care. Okay, there might be something to the left then. Let's explore it. Is there a big treasure? Um, nothing so far. Oh, there it is. Now, how do I get to that? Oh, here it is. Perfect. Okay, I'm happy now. King of Diamonds and... Gengbu Shell Fragment. Okay, I don't really know what that does. Is it a... Is it an annex... Oh, no, it's an augment. Plus some capacity on weapon bypass armor, on armor resist phys uh, resist physical. Nice. I like the idea of resisting, of piercing, I mean, um, armor, but I don't want to use it on Soa because she casts spells most of the time, so we'll just hold on to it for now. Let's go take out Alexei's guard. And then take out Alexei. They've been waiting long enough. But of course, first. But save, because that's just what I do. Hey, buddy, on guard. Oh my goodness. Okay, wow. Okay, um. Well, let's try and kill this general first. Because, um, with the general out of the way, we could do a slash in the middle. 
So I think I prefer doing that. Yeah. He's burned. Now I can't do this first. So let's try and just pacify someone. So let's pacify this lady. Yes, perfect. Okay, so we use up one of their turns. And he's dead. Alright, perfect. Now I would like you to kill... I guess the top one. It's got bleed, but... Nice. Ooh, nice. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah, this way. It's gonna hurt her quite a bit, but she's in the back row. There you go. Wow. Disastrous. <laughs> For them, I mean. Wowzers. Bam! Defeated! And yeah, this guy's totally done for. Doesn't even have a chance. Wow. Way to go, Soa. 314 gold. And this stay resolute. Keep the army going. Grant health of regeneration and additional defensive power to all allies. Okay, that's awesome. Now let's use this thing to heal up. And uh, let's save again because, you know, uh, that went really well and I don't want to have to redo it. You've made a terrible gambit today, a rebel filth. Even if you defeat me, the full and awesome might of the Empire of Viridia will crush you, as well as your new traitorous allies in the Sayunari. Now you get to see, without restraint, the power of the Rever Viridian Special Forest. Sayunari, Sayunara. <laughs> Alright, well you know what, I'm not too scared. Let's start with this little hit here. Take him out. Flame strike. Oh, oak. Oh. Ow. Ow, okay, so, um, geez, I don't like that at all, so let's bring this guy back, geez, um, is he only, he's only at one health too, geez, okay, well, let's just take out care of these two then, bam, Alexei's armory is impenetrable, oh, who's this, oh, Master Cash, yeah, Woo! All right. His barrier is down. Now is the time to press the attack. Yes, we will, Master Kesh. Master Kesh. The one and only. Let's see if you remember what I taught you, kiddo. Okay, so first, can we pacify him? Please pacify him. We can't. Well, that's unfortunate. Now, oh, thank God. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Well, I don't want to die, so let's use a medium. Oh, restore it to the whole party. Heck yeah, I'm gonna use that. Because there's two people that need to be restored right now. And that's fine. Critical strike on one of these bad boys in the back. And oh wow, what do you have? Okay, floating stance, increase agility and evade, block projectiles, damage. All damage taken by targeted ally is shared with adjacent allies. Oh, that's actually not bad. Um, deals two diagonal physical attacks from Kesha's position. Adds only allies wisdom to their, to their next attack, and I don't know what that means. So who do I attack here? Okay, I don't really understand, but I think that'll hurt a little bit of everyone. So let's try it out. Ooh, yeah. That guy is defeated. Um, let's heal up, um, I guess this guy, because I don't want anyone to die. And you do, uh, how about a little bit of a lightning strike? That should be fun. Try it out. Oh, that was weak. At least she's dead. And, um, let's try and stagger him, why not? Ooh, that wasn't enough, though. Shockblade. Ah, oh, I didn't want that. Uh, fortified stance. Yeah, let's... Well, I wanted to give that to him, but I guess we can give it to him instead. Disperse damage. You bring a good friend back to life. Oh, wow. That's pretty horrendous. 
Um, yeah, you do a critical strike, and you just heal our good friend with a pretty good potion, but I guess if he does a shock attack... Oh, great. Cash, it's up to you to fix this. So let's just stagger him, then. Staggered. Kidney shot. Okay, use stealth. Why not? And... Can you... Uh, you don't have a stagger, do you? So let's just use a small potion on yourself. Master Kesh, you do your thing. Now, how do we remove this barrier? Oh, there you go. Adds only... No, wait. Deals additional... Disperse damage. Stat spin blocks... Stance increase it. No, wait. He doesn't have that thing. Oh, there you go. Okay, yeah. That's the one I need. Ah, perfect. A little this, a little bit of this. Bam, with some bleed. A little critical. I don't want to kill you, so let's try and... Well, not enough to stagger. Um... No, 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 no. Let's... I guess let's just do some damage here. Deals two additional... Two diagonal physical attacks from Kesha's position. No. Blocks projectile. Stance. Let's just fight, I guess. Deals... Yeah. Adds one eyes uh, Next attack and sick. Okay, fight. Ooh, okay. That's actually pretty powerful, so I don't regret it. And you know what? Let's do the wide swing, because it is very powerful. And now let's try and... Can we stagger? We have a kidney shot. One. And, uh, okay, so... Sh great, that's actually not what I wanted. I could do Shadow Blast, but I'm pretty sure it would kill her. So hopefully this is enough to finish him off. Ooh, so close, but not enough. Oh, it is! Sigma Company, fall back! Lucian, you have routed our scouting party. Well done. We will soon descend upon you with thousands. Ooh, yeah! Level up, level up, level up. Ascended skill scripts. Yes! And you get shoots a large cone of fire into the enemy army. Nice. S attempt to pacify all enemy humans on the battlefield. Guaranteed success if they are inflicted with psychic insight. Swords play mastery passive. 3% CT used for physical attack, sabers, and coup de grace. As well as 25% chance to critical plus one hit for normal attack. What's plus one hit for normal attack? Like you hit twice? I'm not sure. Master Kesh, in the years of training under you, I'd never had a chance to see your technique at battle. Oh, how did I do? I'm pretty sure you saved our butts. I've never faced an enemy like Alexei before. It doesn't make any sense. Right you are, young Lucian. Traveling times ahead. Why were you unable to hurt him until you showed up? It is the ethereal armor he wears. It's the artifact blood running through his veins. Artificial? I understand he is augmented like me, but... Not like you, Lucian. Not at all like you. Ethereal armor, you say? Yes, my dear. I've been studying Lucian's ethereal greatsword and have gone nowhere. First time for everything. Kesh, what is that stuff, green man? Ingrid, do you think you can conjure up a few manners around my former mentor? Apologies, Master Kesh. Lucian, have I taught you nothing but a swords play? Such a beautiful girl with an inquisitive, rich mind. She is a rare flower indeed, who should be nourished, not stifled. Ah, uh, <laughs> shots. Lucian's father told me about you, Ingrid. He expressed comfort in that Lucian can rely on your, you for technical prowess. Surely you and I will have much to discuss regarding Ethereum and the energy that powers it. Kesh, you spoke with my father? Do you think this old green man would have the initiative to save the day on his own? <laughs> I could be enjoying retirement at Luresca Beach, away from all this adventure nonsense. Indeed, it was Aldor who alerted me to your impending capture at Fort Alabarda. 
It was he who gave me the tools necessary to enlist our talented feline warrior here. By the way, well done, Eskandar. I knew you could do it. <laughs> it was a glorious mission. Father. It is difficult to get a read on him, Lucian. But at least you can rest assured that he has taken some steps to look out for you. Yeah. Seems like it. Master Kesh. As you can see, we've won a great victory against Viridia today. And with the Sayonari army that has defected, we are a legitimate fighting force. I believe we can form a coalition that will eventually grow into a viable counter to Viridia's aggression. Ah, planning on conquering your homeland, hmm? Not in the least. I'm planning on saving it. And I'm hoping you are not busy as it seems we are in need of your skills. Busy? Did I not just say I wish to soak up the sun at Lureska? Oh. Duh, he's being sarcastic. Yes, right again, my dear. So. Young Lucian, my skills are yours to command. And try not to make a habit of conscripting the elderly into your army. We get cranky. One last thing. I've been keeping this old book around, but you should have it after that perfect performance. Use it to make whatever you're forging much stronger. But be careful, it only has one use. Grandmaster Schematics. Jeez. I hate that we only have it for one use. Verita has retreated and has driven back to Fort Alabarda. Alabarda is the key to Belladorn. If Viridia loses, they will have to withdraw from Belladorn completely. We now have the numbers. If we can get the Sirenari and Barak Tor fighters inside the gates, we should be able to take the, the fort. However, the fort's outer walls are quite strong. Without siege weaponry, we have no way of penetrating their outer defenses. Okay. So we have a new area. But there is one fatal flaw. An underground tunnel forged by an ancient river. It leads to the lower levels of the fort through which we should be able to sneak in and open the outer gates. It's as good as ours. Alright, look at that. Conquest for Fort Alabarda. But first, I'm going to go back to the headquarters. See what we can make. And see if we can talk to people again. Now first... Or even before that, let's save. And it seems we have four people in our army now. Oh no, Master Kesh is level 33. Something tells me he's gonna pull a, ma a General Leo and get killed. But we do have the Ascended Skill Scroll. Oh my god, five points. Was it by five points or... Oh man. No, it is by five points. That is insane. Um... I think I'd even rather do this. And we can stagger a little bit more. Oh, and we can equip more skills too, jeez. Um, block an ally from attacks and get one successfully. Okay, no. Can restrain its friends, increase your party stats based on their proximity to him? Sure, why not? Has become a feared opponent, lower the enemy's attack and spell power. Uh, geez, I, I really don't know what would be best. Cast a blizzard? No. Switch places? No. No, 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 no. Yeah, let's do this. Why not? Oop. And uh, I'm assuming we might have more stuff here. So, magical armor? Uh, no, I don't want that. Any allies who are critical health will receive double healing... Critical strikes from allies generate extra TP. Weapons power increase by 25 when losing with uh, physical attacks. Ignore. F oh, sure. Why not? Let's do that. Okay, perfect. Nice. Now, Ingrid, what can we do with you? Well, I like this one. And I'm going to actually increase it. Because why the heck not? Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Because you use critical strikes most of the time. And... Uh, why not do an acid toss? It does hurt their armor. And uh, let's see. Shotgun have a greatly increased attack power if anybody is closer to the target. When destroying an enemy, auto no. Counter enemy melee attacks, no. Whenever using fire explosion attacks, deal plus 33. Boost a critical hit bonus damage from a single shot attacks. Yes, yes. Because she has. we use that critical strike thing pretty often. 
Oops. Now let's see here. We can siphon might, store the minions might to increase Soa's physical strength, attempt to pacify all enemy humans. No. Uh, no. Uh, link Soa's life force with one ally. This splits all incoming damage into half, shared between Soa and the target ally. Uh, no. Strike a single enemy, flex blood tap. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, I would like something that pacifies, though. Uh, not pacifies. Um, I want something that will... Wait, was this the one? No, 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 no. Where is it? Power will become demoralized, gain an insight on it. No, I want something that will cause them to become staggered. Oh, this one's actually not bad. Oh, no, we already have it. Um... Well, it doesn't seem to have anything that can stagger right now, so we can just do something... Apply to blood that siphoning the target's life force to Soa. I don't know what that means. There you go. Shadow Bolt will do. And I'm definitely going to up this. Well, it is already very powerful. I don't think it's really necessary to bring it up all that much. Though, doing this after that boss battle might be a good idea. What about something like this? Yeah, let's do that for now. And what can we do? Um, startup costs. Okay, drain HP heal self at a 50% higher rate. Enemy killed by source drains. Very unlikely to be attacked by human enemies. She's already in the back, in the back, so. Yeah, why not give her this? Okay, so, man. Okay, so what is this? Hunter's mic. I bought a hunter's mic to a single target. Next set will have increased chance to critical. No thanks. First, choose a tile to move to, then blinds the entire row of enemies for a short time. Nope. Crossbow barrage. Deadly bolt at range. Yeah, sure, why not? Though, this is good. I also really like this one. Uh, focus shot. There you go, and why not this? There you go, okay. Um, cost for all crossbow attacks. 50 cost to move an attack that includes a move. Plus an evasion for Zific- Oh, yes, I'll do it for the evasion, if only, if anything. And holy smoke, does this guy have a lot of stuff here. Now let's just, just check here. Greatly enhance one ally, uh, grants increased agility, armor regeneration, and clean, cleanses negative effects. Wow, okay, that's good. I don't really care about this, so let's replace it with this. What? Oops. Now let's see. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Most attack stagger. Lord evade parry. Man, there's so much. Alright, let's just... Um, Block projectiles for this column and adjacent columns until next action. All damage taken by target allies shared with adjacent allies. Diagonal attack. Yeah, that one seems kind of neat. Let's upgrade it. Let's upgrade this. Yeah, let's do it. Let's up it. And uh, sure, I don't want to spend too much time on these. Let's save, because I seriously don't feel like having to do that again. Now let's go talk to people who might have something to say, like our good friend here. Eskandar, we are about to kick the radio out of Belladorn completely. That's got to get your blood boiling, eh? Yes, the question I have for you is what do you plan to do after they've gone? It seems like we are being recruited into the army of Lucian with each passing day. Believe me, if I smell the tiniest scent of a new conqueror on you, my claws will swiftly find their way into your jugular. Uh, fair enough. To be honest with you, friend, I have not thought that far ahead, but it is my sincere hope that the Barakhtor will continue to stand beside me going forward. I have a feeling a vast coalition will be needed to save the world from widespread war and suffering at the hands of what I, whatever has corrupted my homeland. 
However, I am neither in the position nor have any desire to force anyone to do anything. This is about an ideological mission, not the building of a new empire. I am simply jesting, naive human. Ha! Had you, I had you at a little scare, didn't I? <laughs> Your jokes escalate pretty quickly, Furball. Gotta admit. <laughs> a barrack door warrior plays just as fiercely as he fights. And yes, my loose tongue has drawn the ire of my mate from time to time. I will temper my behavior for you, smooth faces. Utter nonsense. You're neither able nor willing to do such a thing. You are correct. <laughs> oh wow, level up. Nice. Eskandar leveled up. Feral Frenzy. Nice. Okay, who else? Oh, looks like our good friend. Lucian, son of Aldor. So has told me all about you. Oh, great. I think. Oh, only good things, I assure you. Ah, well, that's probably a side effect of her being exceptionally classy. So, with some of more self-confidence, would be nearly identical to her father in his prime. King Dargon is one of Sayuna's greatest heroes. We actually fought side by side in many battles against the Eastern Barbarians. His magical power was truly fearsome. It saddens me greatly to see him fall from graces so suddenly. So, it told me a little bit about it. But, what is happening to Sayuna? Is your own words... In your own words, <laughs> My homeland has been decaying for some time. Please, this must remain confidential between you and I. I served a royal family before all, and I cannot bear this, their disapproval. King Dargon has been unwell. His two legitimate heirs have no guidance or any real concern with Sayuna. Dargon has grown more paranoid as time goes on. He closely guards the Sayuna's secrets even from his own offspring. And now, he lays in his deathbed, slowly growing weaker. I have been reluctant to say anything to my king, but I have been despondent in watching him let our glorious country crumble before his eyes. And now, we will soon be a client state of the Empire of Iridia. Preposterous! Sayuna is a mighty and proud nation. If we are to be ruled from the outside, I would rather fall onto my sword. Your thoughts are safe with me, Faram. It makes sense why you would defect. It is actually quite similar to my re reasoning. True patriotism. We share this trait, friend. Yes! Asvatar sa saves Sayuna and Varieta both! Perfect, okay. So a bit of XP there. I don't want to talk to people that have nothing new to say. What's up here? Ooh. It is good to see you again, Lucian. Agreed. It is still surreal to me. I, have n I never in a million years thought you and I would be where we are now. Master Kesh and I fighting side by side. Come now. You give me far too much credit. You mustn't put others on such a pedestal, even your mentors. So, I wanted to ask about the Gondo on Gondwana Federation. You are their liaison of sorts, right? Doesn't joining us put the Federation in Viridia's crosshairs? That would be rather rash of me, hmm? No, it does not yet. I am merely an ambassador. Lady Zara is the Federation's head of state. For the time being, anyway. I see. So how did you get that gig anyway? The G Gondwanas are so secretive. And that is a long story, boy. However, certain events did lead me to be bounded by Blood Pack with their ruling faction. They do like to stay isolated from the human world, so I am happy to act as their buffer. Interesting. Any reason why you're doing this for them? I owe them a great debt. One that can never be repaid. I see. Before you go, let me explain extend an offer to help train you. I can bring us to an arena where you can sharpen and advance our skills, maybe even win a few trinkets for our trouble. Talk to me at home base any time to travel to that to the arena. Interesting. Lucian, I've made a breakthrough on this sword. Oh yeah? Ready for me to swing it around yet? Easy, Sparky. We are far, far from it. This thing needs its power source completely replaced. Good news is, Kesh here knows a bit about the power source and about Ethereum itself. Long and short of it, this great sword is an extremely advanced model requiring a specific power source we definitely don't have access to, but I might be able to work with really basic Ethereum soon. Ingrid, you seem to be fascinated by this stuff. Well, Lucian, think about it. Alexei's covered head to toe in this kind of gear with a unique power source that only the top ranks of Iridia has access to. 
Unlocking the secrets of this sword helps uncover the agenda of those pulling your father's strings. Makes sense. Level up again. Lucian, woo! Enchant fire. Grant all allies the ability to attack with the added power of fire. Their attacks inflict burning. Fire Mastery increases Lucian's damage dealt with fire skills and increases the effect of burning on all enemies. Nice. And Cash, too, really? Grandmaster's Boon grants the party a large amount of TP and readiness. Cash is unable to act for two turns. Nice, nice, nice. I might actually go add that skill for Lucian because we do use his fire ability quite often. So this one, yeah, whatever. Let's do Fire Mastery instead. And uh, I think that might be the last new dialogue available um, currently. But let's just double check. Oh, no. So, uh, how is your first command? It does not come naturally to me. I am grateful to have such a strong ally. Oops. Odd one would think you'd be a fine leader. I think you did great. I will admit the ability to manipulate minds is, well, it is coercion. Leadership is a completely different matter, and I will have to get used to not using my empathic crutch. Good point. Then again, there is the matter of how you've inspired a portion, uh, a portion of Sayonari to follow you and defect. It seems you've landed the leadership gig regardless. Yes, it is frightening. So many of these people are depending on me. Yeah, they are. As am I. We are both defected patriots now, so uh, you can learn on me in any time you want. But you have become the new face of Sayuna, and I will need to lean on you as well. Dear Lucian, yes, I will summon the strength. Thank you for your faith in me. Bam, more XP. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we will assault that uh, gate thing on, from the Underground River um, with our new party. So as always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know what you think about Echoes of Etheria, and I will see you all next time. Bye.